Well, so far she's met with Liu He, the former top Chinese trade negotiator and close confidant of Xi Jinping. She's also met with the central bank governor Yi Gang and Chinese premier Li Qiang. And her overall message to China seems to be, look, the U.S. thinks that this relationship is enormously important. It's important for us and the global community to get it right. The U.S. does not seek to decouple but it is at the same time not willing to veer away from this track of viewing China as a strategic rival. In Yellen's own words, she says, we seek healthy competition, but that does not mean that the winner takes all. She then went on to defend current sanctions on Chinese firms as necessary for, China, uh, for U.S. national security. She criticized what she says in, is an uneven playing ground for U.S. firms operating here. She urged for more market reform, uh, reforms and also raised concerns about uh, recent controls put on raw material exports as well as investigations into U.S. due diligence firms here in China. And Yellen met with Premier Li Chang, the highest ranked official that she's met so far on Friday. He opened by saying, I heard when you first came it was raining, but then also a rainbow appeared and we hope that our relationship does not have to be characterized always by rain and wind. So clearly Beijing is trying to accentuate the positive. They welcomed remarks by Janet Yellen that the U.S has no wish to decouple or, as Beijing put it, break the chain, that it wants to work together to stabilize communications, to cooperate on the global economy and, and look for a win-win situation for both countries. But at the same time, Beijing is certainly not going to be happy with the fact that the U.S. so far means, uh, remains committed to uh, sticking by the sanctions, sanctions that are designed to basically strangle China's access to very important semiconductor technology. And also there's been no discussion about the possible repeal of Trump-era tariffs uh, put on billions and billions of dollars worth of Chinese imports to the U.S.